Welcome back to the channel. It's your host Rob with i25 Kia. 2019 is almost over, get ready for 2020. But before we say hi to a new year, we have to say bye to the old year. And 2019 was a special year for us at i25 Kia. We did lots of fun things, we sold lots of cars, and we had a good time doing it. But we can't say goodbye to 2019 without looking back at some of the awesome things we did. One of my favorite videos that happened last year was our Bird Box K900 Challenge. I was really impressed with what Baron and his team accomplished with putting the newspaper all over the windows, but I was even more impressed with how well everybody drove in that K900. I didn't do so hot, but everybody else did great. Because you can't really tell where to parallel park. Is that end? Left. Is, left. It looks like it's in. We're not done? <laughs> it looks like it's in. Okay. Am I supposed to go, go forward to the right? No. What? Ask him what time we're at. What time are we at? 40 seconds. Focus on driving. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Thanks. <laughs> I'm confused, like I'm like... <laughs> nice. What is required to, to complete this course in the fastest time? Uh, confidence and uh, I don't know, just confidence. Thank your coach. Yeah, what and my coach, <laughs> and my coach. What do you think of the technology and they're using those cameras? Pretty good. Crazy how technology is so advanced now. Yeah, it is. Look at this. You can't see out the windows and we're still able to navigate this course. That's pretty crazy. Good job. <laughs> We also had a whole week of random acts of kindness. Where we helped out the Firestone Police Department, the Firestone Fire Department. We gave away free coffee at the Lyft Coffee Bar. We also made some dog tails wag and some cat's purr. Probably the biggest notable thing to happen in 2019 was the arrival of the Telluride. But the Tellurides just came in. We're at I-25 Kia. Still all packaged up. That's a lot of space. As you can tell, we're excited. We are very excited. <laughs> and I was there with Joe whenever they arrived. It was fun to see his eyes light up and just to see all the attention grow around such an awesome vehicle was a really cool experience. It was such a big deal. Even the Denver Post just came to talk to Phil and, and write an article about how popular the Tellurides are. We answered so many questions about Tellurides this year. I can't tell you how many people ask us about the Telluride that we took to the Halloween Safe Night event in Firestone. This year we also got invited back to the Denver Electric Vehicle Ride and Drive event. Joe and I went, we got to talk to many electric car enthusiasts and learn a little bit more about the tech and about why it's important in the city of Denver. If you guys ever get any questions about the Nero, the Soul, the Optima? Anything, come, come anything at all. Talk to this man, he knows Stinger. so much. Joe Cross. Talk to Joe <laughs> Cross. <laughs> How do you like this event? I actually love this event. The, the part of it that's cool is all the people we get to talk to and the fact that, you know, Denver is trying really hard to take a step in, in environmental issues and helping with our future. And it was also just fun to geek out with Joe about everything. It's always a fun day with Joe. <laughs> We also had a wonderful summer. And to celebrate the service and parts team, we, we took them to Top Golf, where I learned that Ron is really good at driving a golf ball. So is Baron. I am not. Um, but it was really enjoyable to see the entire parts and service team just fearlessly drive those golf balls, even though I would say about a quarter of us knew how to do it. It was still fun. We helped many people get into the cars that they wanted to get into. Uh, Sebastian even took it upon himself to come up with the idea to make a video targeted towards students getting their first car for college. You could fit a whole college student in here. Don't do that. Don't do that. Let's <laughs> get the salespeople in the trunk. <laughs> so if there was a person that you could sell a car to, we tried to sell it to them and we made an impression on everybody. We also celebrated our five year anniversary at the dealership. Very big deal. It's crazy to think that it's been five years already, I think is the first thing that is kind of funny to think about. So many good memories. Um, 
just so many good ones. My favorite one is when Ron made my two, my, my son cry. First time he met him, he was probably a month and a half, two months old, and he runs at height. He just cried his eyes out, which was pretty funny. Um, I'm here with the company for about eight years now. I saw the store growing. I saw the building growing. Uh, I'm older than the building uh, building here, and uh, I have some uh, some some great uh, memories uh, with the company. See, I've been here about nine and a half years. Um, fondest memory, I think, is uh, moving over to the new facility and getting to use all the new equipment, and really enjoy the people I work with. Congratulations, I-25 Kia, on your five-year anniversary. It has definitely been a fun ride and we can't wait to see what's to come. For me, it was really fun to go back through all the footage and, and watch the dealership grow and evolve. <laughs> One of the more exciting videos I got to do this year was teach Nicole how to drive a stick shift. Here's a little bit of that. I would recommend to try to kill the car first, so just fully release that clutch. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I know that looked funny, but Nicole killed it. She learned how to drive a stick in 25 minutes, so you have no room to make fun of her. And if you do, I'm coming for you. I wanted to thank all of you guys for just being wonderful co-workers and friends and just genuinely fun people to talk to. I've never worked at a place that is so full of personality, and I think we're all blessed to be in such great company. So I now bid my sweet farewell to 2019. Hello 2020, so let's all have a great year and hope you guys stick around and continue to make this the best car dealership in all of Colorado. Thank each and every one of you guys for everything. Have a happy new year and I will see you guys next year. Bye.